So let's talk about removing clips from a sequence. I have a timeline set up here where I have two clips from Rebecca on either end and I have a clip from Barbara. And again, I have color coded the clips so we can see what's going on here. So there's a couple of ways to remove clips. I can select it and then hit the delete key and it creates this empty area where the clip used to be. I could right click on this empty area and choose ripple delete and then it moves all of the clips uh, from the right hand side of the sequence down and it fills in that gap. But there's a better way to do it with uh, fewer clicks. If I click on my clip and I hold the option key as I hit delete, it automatically adds that step of that ripple delete and it closes that gap for me. So I'm going to go ahead and edit undo that. And let's talk about basic trimming. So for instance, let's uh, zoom in to the end of my timeline here and let's play this to kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Strange that somebody's thanking me for what I'm doing. Let's play a little more over here. So thankful, um, which I find strange that somebody's thanking me for what I'm doing. So let's say we wanted to cut off that whole part of her sentence where she says uh, people thanking her. It's, it's extraneous information. We don't need it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my playhead. I'm going to find where I want the clip to end with my playhead and park it there. So let's do that. They, they're just so thankful. Right. So right there. They're just so thankful and we'll cut it. So I can hover my mouse over the end point of my clip the where it ends. I can click and drag it down. And notice because I have snapping on, the clip will snap right to the playhead and I can let go. And let's see if we they, got it here. They, they're just so thankful. That's perfect. Uh, but again, we have this gap here. I could right click and then do the ripple delete. But of course, there is a quicker way. I'm going to edit and undo all this. Uh, let's make sure my end is where we want it to be. So thankful. There it is. Uh, and I'm going to use a new tool. And it's the uh, the ripple trim tool. And the shortcut is B. I can go to my end and do the same exact thing. I'm just left clicking and dragging to snap to my playhead. However, since it's doing a ripple delete as well, it's also moving all the clips over from the right with it, and it does not keep that gap. We're just so thankful. Most. So now, of course, you would need to go back to the selection tool or the V key. Otherwise, you will be ripple trimming all of your clips. But what if we wanted to remove parts of the clip itself? Okay, so let's watch a little bit of our clip here so we can see what we're dealing with. And, and sometimes we get to see them... Um, further on down the line. Okay, so she says a lot of uhs and ums in this clip and we'll just, we'd want to get rid of those. So how do we do that? So I'm gonna zoom into my timeline by hitting the plus key. And let's find our first um here. Sometimes we get to see them. Um... Okay, so it's right here. I can see it on the waveform. So we're going to use the razor tool and to do that, we're going to hit the shortcut key C as in Charlie. And you can notice that I'm on the razor tool. If I hover over a clip, it now has a razor blade icon. And it has a vertical line going all the way through the video section and the audio section. So when I left click once, it will split these clips. It will split this clip into one. So let's put our playhead where we want to start the clip. Sometimes we get to see them. We'll just do it right here. So I'm going to click once. There we go. And let's find the where we want to pick up the clip. Um, right here. So I'll go ahead and I will click there. So now you would immediately want to go back to your selection tool uh, by hitting V. Otherwise, you will be cutting up all of your clips and you don't want to do that. So I'm going to click on the clip that we segmented. I'm going to do the option delete. So the ripple delete. And let's hear what we have here now. And, and sometimes we get to see them further on down the line. Okay. So she does a big sniff there at the end. So let's cut that out as well. Get to see them. Okay. And so I'm going to do the ripple trim. So I'm going to do the B key. And I'm going to trim it down to my playhead. Let go. Hit the V key. And let's see what we have here now. 
and, and sometimes we get to see them further on down the line. Okay, so we definitely want to throw a clip of the dogs or whatever she's talking about here on top of this to cover up this jump cut, but it's very simple to trim out ums and uhs and stuff.